Now we're going to show you how to use our sun switch, which is for the solar. So this is our solar controller um, provided by Sunbather. We do have a link to this also on our YouTube video set. So um, you can go and see some of the more detailed information on how to use this, um, this unit and some of the more complex uh, operations that it's capable of. But at the moment, we're just going to go through the really simple stuff so that you know how to work it and use it. So you can see at the moment we have a reading on um, the, out, the, the LED here of 25 degrees. That's telling us the temperature of the pool, the pool water, now at 25 degrees. So if I want to find out that, um, so what happens to, to get this, we have a sensor going into, the, into our uh, solar pipes that reads back a temperature. And we have a, another uh, wire which runs up onto our roof and gives us a temperature for our uh, roof. And what the operation of, um, of this machine in its default position will do is say if that roof temperature becomes 7 degrees above the water temperature, automatically the solar um, will, the pump will kick on and it will say, yep, it's an efficient um, temperature to enable the increase of the water temperature by the use of the solar. So we're going to turn on. Once it goes below 7 degrees difference, then the solar pump will automatically turn off saying, well, it's not a very efficient operation to run the solar because we're not getting any increase in temperature for the water. So that's how it pretty much works. When it's on, the water is... Um, sucked from the pool up onto the roof through the solar system, the, the small black pipes which heats the water and then back down and straight directly into the pool. So our pool water at the moment is 25 degrees. If I hold this up button here for three seconds, there I go, I get a roof temperature and it's 22 degrees. So it only holds that for a few seconds. But So I'll do that again. You see that Pool temperature 25, roof temperature 22, therefore solar pump's not on. Later in the day when it warms up, you might find that that roof temperature is on 30 and once it hits 29 or, or above, it's going to kick on and away it goes, heating up the pool water. Um, the, the other things we can do with this is set a temperature, uh, a temperature limit. So by setting the temperature button here, we've got a temperature of 33 as our limit which means you know we normally set it around 30 but you can change that to whatever you want um, once the solar temperature of the water gets to 33 it will automatically turn off and maintain that temperature of 33 so if I want to change it I just go to the down button set the temperature to 30 or up back on to 33 so that's the set temperature and then if I want to manually run our solar, all I need to do is push this manual button, and on it comes. And you'll see there, that was the overnight temperature of the pool. The, just got a change now from 22 to 17, which is just showing the temperature now because the water's running again. It hasn't run since last night, so that's our true temperature of the water is actually 17. And it'll adjust slowly as the water goes through the sensor it will adjust that temperature as the temperature changes. It's kicking on 18 as it's reading the temperature. And then we can go off to turn the whole system off. And we can go on auto to have it run automatically as per the temperature default um, running as, as, a, as an automatic solar system. So the, the other one that's important is um, is the dun, dun. There's one more the what the winter button that's right so to to get the winter mode we that that's an important one so during winter what we want to do is not have the system running all the time because um, we don't we're not using the pool so if we're not going to be swimming in it let's click it over to what we call a winter mode the winter mode enables the water not to be left sitting on the roof. So it will run once a day 
for about uh, 10 minutes, I think, five or 10 minutes, and it just flushes the system through so that we don't get any algae or bacteria growing in the water up on the roof, which we're then gonna send back down to our pool. So winter mode, we hold the on off button for about 10 seconds, and we should see it come up with a W. There it is now. Now, the time I've set that winter mode is the time that the pump will come on each day for five or 10 minutes, and it will flush the system, and it will maintain the integrity of the water, and make sure that it's all it's all clean and going through the filtration system and not stuck up on the roof. So that's our winter mode. And to go back, we just do the same thing back to the on position. Flick it back on, and when the W is off, it's back into a normal um, normal solar operation. So what we might do is during those periods of summer where we just leave it on auto when the pool's in use and it's constantly heating each day. And when we're not using the pool so much, but we still get some days where we might want to use it, I would suggest that you use the winter mode button and then maybe looking at the weather ahead, you might say, right, this week I might have it on solar mode. And, and then in a cool week, you might say, right, <clears throat> I'm going to put it into winter mode because we're not going to be swimming this week. So let's just put it in winter mode and leave it at that. So that's our solar operation. And... There's some more information, as I said, um, on, our, on our YouTube videos. And then next to this, you'll see we have our pool and spa lights. So this is the transformer, and they, they just plug into one of our switches, um, our power points here, switched on or off. We normally switch them internally inside, so this one's actually in, uh, controlled internally. So I have it on here all the time. And when someone switches the internal switch on or off, it switches the pool lights on or off accordingly. Um, and those pool lights are able to be changed to different colors and different modes. They can do some flashing modes and some um, about six or seven different colors. So just by flicking the switches, the on off switch on and off, it'll change color, change color, change color, and go through a circuit back to the color that you started on. And if you lose the synchronization, so for example, one light's blue, one light's yellow, there's some directions on the transformer here to synchronize, turn off for three seconds, then on, off, on, off, on, and that will resynchronize your lights together. So if you have any issues with that, just go to, the, um, go to that, uh, that information there. So that pretty much covers the lights and the solar controller.